Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to learn how we can download, set up and use Binance Wallet on your browser. It might be Chrome, Brave, Firefox, basically it's a browser extension and we'll see how we can create a wallet, import existing wallet and how basically we can set up the Binance Chain Wallet. But before we jump into the video, make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell button so you can never miss another DeFi video again. If it's a tutorial, if it's a strategy that I'm using, I'm always uploading a new content. So make sure that you are getting notification right after I release and publish new videos. So let's, before we set up the new Binance Merchant or Binance Wallet, maybe you wanna trade some tokens, maybe you want to use decentralized apps. There might be a lot of reasons that you will want to use Binance Wallet. It's basically an alternative to MetaMask and it comes built in with the Binance Chain and the Binance Smart Chain network and RPC endpoints. So if you're familiar with MetaMask, you know that we can add manually the Binance Smart Chain RPC and then interact with decentralized apps on the Binance Smart Chain like PancakeSwap, like Burgers, Burger Swap, or Bake Bakery Swap, all these kind of apps. So if you don't like MetaMask, you have bugs in any kind of reason, it doesn't work, you can use Binance Chain instead. And now let's see how we can download and install it. So the first thing we'll do, we'll do is go to Google and then search for Binance Chain. Don't worry, I will always uh, put. I will also put the link for the extension in the description below. Binance Chain Wallet. I'm searching for Binance Chain Wallet and then clicking the first link on Google, and I can see here Wallet Direct. And here, from the official Binance Binance website, make sure that it's the official website and not some kind of a fake spam website. That the domain is right. It's https binance.com, and then click on the Install Extension Wallet. Here, install extension wallet, and then we will open a new tab of the Chrome Web Store and basically adding add to Brave. If it's Chrome, it will be add to Chrome and downloading and installing the extension to our browser. And now we can see this new icon of the new wallet. I will click here and then pin it so always it will be here. And now this is the Binance Chain Wallet. It's very, very similar to MetaMask. If you're familiar with MetaMask, you can use an existing wallet or create a new one. In my case, I will create a new wallet. Let's create a new wallet and generate a seed phrase. So now we will be requested to choose a password that using this password, basically the wallet itself, the app, the extension, will encrypt the private keys on your browser. So every time you want to send funds and send tokens using the wallet, you will have to type the password. So make sure it's a password that you are uh, uh, you can remember. So maybe write it somewhere in a secure place. So no one else can actually find this password. So I'm just going to create a password here. Clicking continue. And then we have the seed phrase. Again, the seed phrase is very, very important. Same as MetaMask. If someone has access to this kind of seed phrase, basically you can uh, restore your wallet and steal all your funds. So make sure it's super important that you bag it up and also in a secure place so no one else can actually steal it from you. Also, do not lose it because this is your way to recover the wallet in case that something happened to your browser, to your computer, maybe the extension was deleted by mistake, maybe there was an error. Uh, it happened to me already that the MetaMask wallet was deleted, there was a mistake, there was a bug in the extension and all the data was deleted and I lost maybe two or three Ethereums like three years ago. So make sure that you bag it up and I couldn't recover it till this day. So I lost like three Ethereums when it was like $200 per each or $100, I don't even remember. It was long time ago. So I'm gonna copy it aside now, just for the example and continue. And now, now you will be requested to complete uh, some kind of random words to make sure that you remember it. It's like some kind of like uh, when you verify the password, when you are asked to supply the same password tw twice, so they wanna make sure that you actually copied and saved it in a secure place. So I will put a list and the eighth word is, should be this one and the ninth word will be this one. There you go guys, now we created a new Binance 
chain wallet as you can see i have zero bnb right now but i have an address and i can sell and fund this wallet and then use it in decentralized apps so by default you can see that it's connected to the binance smart chain network you can change also to the binance chain network to the um, bep2 network basically the tokens are bep2 binance smart chain is bep20 and also you can use this wallet for ethereum network if you want to use it with ethereum blockchain or decentralized apps on ethereum blockchain like uniswap sushi swap and other apps so let's see just an example i'm switching now to the binance smart chain right now i don't have bnb but I, this is my wallet address so i can copy and send funds from binance directly or from other wallets as well if it's metamask doesn't matter which wallet because it's a binance smart chain wallet bep20 as far as you will send a bep20 tokens they will be okay in the wallet here you can see all the assets you can add assets it's very very similar to metamask also see all the activity all the transactions right here you will have if you click on the account button you will have all the settings um, the account you can create new accounts import existing ones maybe you want to connect it to hardware wallet maybe you want to connect it to a ledger so this is to make your wallet more safe so you want to sign every transaction with the physical ledger so it will be much safer settings lock all the other things that uh, you're familiar with metamask exist also here and now i can also go to PancakeSwap, for example which is an app decentralized app on the binance smart chain click connect and select binance chain wallet and now you will see that my chain wallet binance chain wallet will uh, request access I will click connect and there you go you have this is your address you can see now that the wallet is connected and now you can use this wallet to send transaction to do swaps to do staking to do to play with the predictions with the lotteries whatever you want i will click unlock wallet binance chain wallet again connect and i can do whatever i want swapping tokens I don't have right now balance but i can do anything that you're familiar with metamask or if you're not familiar with metamask basically you can do anything you want and send transactions using the binance chain wallet so that's it and um, let me know if you have any questions if you're struggling with something feel free to ask in the comments i will try to answer all of them if you like this video please like and share it with your friends so youtube can share it and expose it to more people that can learn about DeFi. i appreciate it so much thank you a lot thanks a lot and see you next time